Hello, 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 y'all. What is going on in the hood? Okay. Thank you, Geneva. Hey, y'all. Thank you, Sandra. Thanks, Stephanie. Y'all, I done did two hair videos today. This is my second one. I done left out to go party. Okay. And had to bring my tired ass back home. This now I'm about to I'm getting like cookie daddy with this damn cycle of mine. First of all, the shit came early. And then I sneezed. And you would have think that somebody pop out me. 
okay, below the waist. Came back home. I was looking better than this, y'all. I was all cute and everything. Had this little necklace on. Little cha-cha. Cha. Now I feel like a fat pig. I am so bloated. And my stomach is killing me. It's going through my back now. Y'all, this wig was only $50 on Amazon. Um, I had watched the review, this girl, um, Taste Pink. She do hair videos on YouTube. And she, um, like, she do a lot of wigs that's, like, um, little cheap wigs. Like, you know those ones that, this is the, um, the wig. It's, um, Bear Lace Sensationals sensational this company so i got it off amazon let me get the link for y'all real quick because um and then i can get the name of the wig because i need the link for my video when i post the video um of the wig um It's the um, Ash Brown. It was $58. Was it 50 I thought it was only $50. Let me look. I might have ordered the wrong one. What color is this one? Golden Walnut. Oh, this the one. Light Ash Brown. Yeah, Light Ash Brown. Um, this one is called... What is her name? Y'all, they have names. Um, $46. <clears throat> Let me see what her name is. Or maybe she don't have a name. But I seen that she did a review on this Glenna one too. And um, that's the one that I need in my life. This lace is really thin. And it was only $48. And it's synthetic too. So don't think you're about to be wearing it for a year or nothing like that. Um but it is synthetic and it's um but it's a, a cute little piece to rumble in the jumble jungle right one second i'm trying to get the link Let me go back to my orders and then just copy a link from here. The Amazon links be so damn um long. <clears throat> hey Empress. Empress, I need you to step out the video until I finish the first part because you know I'm about to copy off your <laughs> Hold on one second. Y'all, we be having, 
y'all 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 need to get get y'all little friends in in order okay get y'all some friends like i got okay that's like sisters okay because there's some movement around this batch okay call with the shit right on the spot thank y'all for coming in hey empress thank you so much empress <laughs> empress radio okay empress take a bow thank you so much like that video you have um that you put out today that you put out before um even the especially the one today that was just extensive like if y'all don't get it y'all need to get it like we are under fucking attack like seriously let me turn my monetization on before i get the fooling but we are under attack we need to get ourselves together because they keep playing around with us all we're doing is reporting on what they have going on we're not trying to do nothing else to them we're not trying to stop their businesses because in actuality they ain't got no damn business you know what i'm saying it ain't really no damn business if your business practices is shabby as fuck if people is suing you left and damn right um you on youtube giving people um million dollar super chats but you got all of these damn lawsuits like that stuff don't make no damn sense and just because we report on it don't give you the damn right to come fucking with our channels come striking our videos making up accounts to strike our fucking videos and all that stupid ass bullshit trying to get people's fucking information and um I did some screenshots the other day when show enough was live and it was somebody in there. I talked about it on Patreon too. They were dogging the fuck out of Caramel Rail and they were saying some, um, some shit that I don't know if to, well, from what she said on her Instagram, the person was just making that shit up. She said it was teeth. Okay. Um, and she showed dms where she inboxed him and told him he better get the fuck on and step the fuck off because she been quiet she ain't done shit to him she she hasn't um repeated none of the shit that he's told her but one thing that i thought that it that made me think it was him anyway in the fucking comment section is he was like be careful who you um who you trauma bond with with, be careful what you tell so-called friends or whatever when you trauma bonding with them so to me that means that the motherfucker just making up shit that he getting trying to get close with these women and he making up shit like he done been through some shit and really probably ain't been through shit but something mentally no he didn't have to been through something in order for him to um be the way that he is um uh, i i believe something um yeah something did happen to him um but he need to seek a professional okay and quit using that shit for fucking evil in my opinion okay so they were saying all type of stuff but what stood out to me also is what they were saying about the copyright strikes is that carlos let me read them let me read them real quick because um empress i don't know if you understand or know how much that video and just having somebody that's one of us just put that shit together and it worked because i think you were the only person that i know of like personally that had a strike i mean had their video them um channel demonetized and got it back everybody else that do it and i'm quite sure there's other videos on youtube about it but whatever it is she hit the marks okay and she shared the information and she didn't have to she shared the information she didn't have to and Denim was able to get her channel back within 24 hours 
of getting the, the, the monetization bag. And again, too, thank you to y'all, like the subbies, like y'all showed out for her. Like y'all showed out because she, I know what we was about to do. Okay. I'm like, shit. It literally happened minutes before we she had played had the music plan but she didn't even know that she wasn't live she had the music plan she thought she was live and just had the music plan before we came on and me like she was talking like rambling like what we was getting you know because we hadn't talked most of that day and she was like okay topics topics so i, I gave her the topics so of dm brownie like okay we like make sure your monetization on and she was like um she kept talking and me and brownie like simultaneously like make sure you got your monetization on but make sure you got your monetization on denim she's like okay 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 let me get the monetization on and she was like i don't fucking see it let me see so we like okay youtube probably tripping so she refreshed and all this and she was like I don't have it. So we're like, what the fuck? So she's like, what the hell is going on? So she seen whatever. She went to her email and it said that her channel was fucking demonetized. Then, because I remember like, oh, because earlier it, I got an email that said that um, she was temporary closing her um, membership. So I thought she did it because she didn't wasn't posting it. So I'm like, maybe she just like, I'm going to cut the membership off, you know, for a minute. And I didn't think about it. And I said, oh, my God, I got that email earlier. And it was just a mess. But like, um, this is something that, you know, we enjoy doing and we get paid to do it. And for people to just be on that bullshit and playing around with people because their life is miserable as fuck because your life cannot have any type of damn happiness in it if this is all the fuck you do is sit around and talk about people in a bad damn way when they not even a bad person they not doing shit bad they not none of that like if i would see if you was doing it to make awareness for somebody but you ain't doing that. You just want to fuck with people because your life ain't shit. But then when somebody get on that ass. And not the way you like it. Then it's always some shit. But let's 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 read these. Um, let's read these um, comments. Um, I ain't even put no damn thumbnail or shit up. Y'all make sure y'all liking the video. Um, because again, like. Um, like we really appreciated that help from Empress and everything like that. And like I said, today was even more extensive because, um, I was saying that, okay, so let me, I'll, let, I'm going to read that. Cause I keep getting off track. I'm going to say, damn, my phone dead. Um. God damn. God damn, Cookie, have you drank anything all day? Can y'all hear Cookie? So, the person says, 
Carlos King never struck channels. It was some of the slow meters. I looked up how how foul a YouTube copyright and anybody can create a fake account and use Carlos King's similar information. So when they said that, I said, oh, so maybe Carlos all yes ass wasn't fucking lying. Maybe he didn't strike the channels. Maybe it was his good friend or somebody that's stalking him, want to be his friend, a legend. And made a fake account and struck Chatty's channel. And what I think happened is, is I think she was smart. And when she did her appeal, I think she put down not her real information either. So they were pissed. And that's why they said that. <coughs> so that's what I told the gossip girls that I wanted to tell um, Uppity. Like, put the local police station down as the address. Because clearly, if they're not doing background checks and seeing if shit is legal when a person is making a, a copyright strike and striking your fucking channel, so they're not doing that same thing when you make an appeal. But they are giving, they are giving that person your information. That person do get your information. When you do the appeal. And I know that for a fact. Yeah, that person was him because he must have. Um, and then they kept on saying the stuff. They want, um, the slow meters are dumb. They want CC real information from the strike. Just put fake info, information, name, address back during the strike process. Why would a regular person in the chat just be saying this shit? Saying what the fuck he was doing with his slick ass. Or think he's slick ass. Right, right, Empress. Why the fuck would a regular subscriber look up that type of information? Especially somebody on Wanda page. Okay? Anybody that's calling somebody a slow meter is actually slow. Okay? So anybody over there trying to even entertain anything Wanda had to say is very much so delayed. Seriously delayed. And then she had the nerve today to try to talk about a content creator said something about misbehavior <clears throat> health, child. I think she said that the child had um, Down syndrome or something like that. <sighs> Didn't she know her child had Down syndrome before she brought that motherfucker uh, her ass on this damn internet talking shit and, and, and ain't on y'all on here talking about doing shit with other people cheering? And all they said was they mentioned that the, the, the child had, she said that the child had Down syndrome. She mentioned it. So what's the problem with somebody else mentioning it? 
They didn't say nothing bad about him. Remember, like you were saying, you, you ain't say nothing about male child. So take it the same way. I I don't know what the fuck is wrong with y'all when y'all think y'all want to go to these lows and then think somebody's supposed to have some damn integrity when it comes to y'all stupid ass bitches. And then think y'all hurting somebody's feelings by calling them hoes and bitches when you can't even fucking spell one of the words. <clears throat> had the fucking nerve to be on there talking about education. Said that the content creator said that they had a, a family NFL. I don't care if you got the family NFL. If because just because the family NFL don't mean nothing. Because what y'all know what NFL mean, bitch. Yes, we do. And we know how to put words surrounding that. A family member in the fucking NFL. That don't make them smart. It do make them smart. Smart enough to be able to handle that motherfucking ball in a way that's going to get them paid more than your motherfucking ass. Um, and, and, I, I, and, and I know y'all talk, talk about me, but I ain't talking about me. I ain't educated. I ain't talking about my education or I ain't saying my kid's smart. Child, we know that motherfucker. We know that. You not. I cannot. I cannot. I will move on. Okay. I want to talk about this stupid ass trailer. This little piece of a trailer that they done put out. Who's this live on IG? All they doing is playing games with people. Dangerous games. What? You chose. That's a dude you chose to be a friend. That's a dude you chose. That's a dude you chose to be a friend. That's a dude you chose. That's a dude you chose to be a friend. That's a dude you chose. Did y'all hear that? May 4th, 8, 7 central. That's the dude you chose. That's the dude you chose to be a friend with. That's the dude you chose to be a friend with. Marceau, let's clear something up. First of all, it don't matter what the fuck she chose. She chose to marry his ignorant ass and be loving to him as she thought he was going to be fucking loving back to her. Okay, I'm quite sure Martel wasn't a fucking complete and utter fucking asshole, idiot, stupid ass. Batch. The entire time that they were together. I don't know. People need to understand that love bombing is real. People accuse me of love bombing them. I don't think I do. I don't think I do. Because the way I am is the way I am. Like, of course, people are going to be nice to you when they first meet you and stuff like that. Um, but sometimes people are very intentional with their overwhelming behavior. Okay. 
and they only want to do it to build you up so that they can tear you down once you get that high they want to bring you back down to reality and then they want to see what the temperature about to be what you going what you going to do okay oh she taking me back okay so now i could turn the heat back up and then i could turn it right back down and then it's just to keep a, 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 a continual cycle. And then what happens with the women is, <clears throat> or the person on the opposite person on the opposite side of being love bomb, they get into this thing where they're always chasing that high or when that person was just Prince Charming. Because Martel comes across as a charming person until he's not we've seen both sides of it we've seen both sides of it we know that he ain't shit in our opinion but we've seen him be a charmer and we've seen him get gutter okay so just imagine us and imagine a lot of you all too when dustin happened Destin happened when they were gone to Destin. People were happy about that. I still knew he was on that bullshit, but can't fool me all the time. Okay. But a lot of people was like, oh my God, I'm glad he's changed. I'm like, that motherfucker ain't changed. He ain't changed his damn draws. He did change his draws. He changed some lucky draws. Remember him and um Miss Molly was wearing the lucky panties and he had the lucky draws that he was taking. Okay, so that's why she ended up having three, I mean, four kids with him. The same count as your top royal motherfucking teeth, you bitch. Mel should have threw something in his damn mouth. He knew what he was doing with his sorry ass. And Mel should have brought up his possible that he had or who, who was the father of the one that Tisha was about to have. That, they should, that she was faking like she was about to have last motherfucking season. That's what he should have been asking her. And Marcel, why are you even sitting over there with that black shirt on and the motherfucker supposed to be closed? Let me see if the other part on here. Drama served. What? Who the fuck is us nice guys? Martel, do you even know a motherfucking nice guy? Probably Fred fine ass. Fred probably the only nice guy that Martel know. I think Chris might be nice, but he don't know how to deal with Martel. Um, he let Martel get too flip at the fucking mouth with his wife and disrespect his wife. So in essence, to me, you're disrespecting your fucking wife by letting this motherfucker disrespect your wife in your motherfucking face. Okay, I don't give a fuck what Martel know on me. He ain't have to tell that shit. Cause I, I don't know. And Chris, you was in the damn service and shit too. You don't know no um secret karate chops and shit like that to disable a motherfucker. To let them know this is what the fuck is going to happen. If you disrespect my wife a fucking again, if you yell in her motherfucking face again. Because had it been my damn husband, I would have made that motherfucker call me. If you don't get his ass together, call me. Because you're about to whoop his ass while I'm sitting there. Okay? 
that's what's gonna happen. Or we're gonna whoop his ass together if you're scared. And then I'm gonna beat your ass. All just uh, in my opinion, I am promoting violence, y'all. Okay. So don't get on here with no shit. Okay. But yeah, I I I I don't I don't get that. A nice fucking guy. And this is why I said Fred is a nice guy. I was telling the girls the other day, this is what I feel like when Fred and Martell went to London. I think that because Fred is into church. And lately it don't seem like he fooling with Martell. I think that he was like, okay. This motherfucker is out of control. I know this motherfucker did not really try to do revenge pee on this girl with this hoe that he fucking with. I think that Fred was going over to London for business. And I think that was like a, come on, dog. Come, come go with me. Come go with me. Let's see if we can get some business going on for you. Like, you need to get something going on. Because you ain't got shit going on but stalking this motherfucking girl. I think that... Because, you know, I thought the shit was weird. But now looking back at it, I think that he was like, let me help him. Because... It's not the person he knew either. Martel is not the person Mel knew. He not the person none of them knew. So I think that Fred tried to help him. Like, let me get him and, and let's 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 go. Let's go. Let me let me let's let's go. Let's get away, dog. Come on, let's just do this. I think that's what a real friend should do i ain't saying that it gotta be london or nothing like that but try to get him and talk some sense into him not uh, try to get with him and then antagonize and escalate the situation because you already know he fucking unhinged you know for your own selfish reasons or whatever you got planned he can he can fit the bill for you because we all think the month of cuckoo Okay, so that's what I honestly think that Fred was trying to do, because you see, like now Fred don't really fuck with him no more. And it seemed like Fred, like, I don't don't know about this. Like, I I tried. And it's seeming like he just won't listen. He won't leave that fucking girl alone. So I don't know. I think the judge should order for him not to be able to say good guy, good man. He shouldn't even be able to say man, and he shouldn't be able to say good father, especially as it relates to him. He shouldn't be able to say it at all because he don't, until he learn and get counseling where he learn what a fucking good father is. That's what I think. So I guess they're going to, um, and I got that off of, um, Empress page and she said that it was on, um, all true tea page on Instagram and, but I just see money making, um, Melody fan page got it on there now. So it's on there. If y'all want to watch it, um, y'all know I'm already fighting a copyright from discovery biscuit head asses. For when I just showed the thing like this on my fucking phone. You bastards. Can y'all hear me? I had clicked the mute button. 
No. Y'all can hear me? Okay, good. Okay, yeah. Yeah, they don't they don't have any regrets, sir, will go off. Um <sighs> It's been like almost three years. It's been three years since their divorce. Um, I already told y'all the two things that I feel like would stop him. I really don't think the second option will really stop him. I think it'll just, because I think if he went to jail, I think he'll still be stalking her from the jail. I think he would just, um, he would just, um, what do you call it? Like he'll put in like, so the, she would have to bring the kids to see him and shit like that. Stuff like that. Um, that's what I think. So I, it's, another option that you know what Maria said in the chat I didn't say it Maria said it <laughs> and not that I wish that on anybody but Has it been four years? Thank you, why that? Um, has it been four years? I thought they got divorced 2000. The divorce was final 2021. The link for this hair is in the chat, y'all. I think that the, the, the divorce, um, was final in 2021. Yeah, so this will be three years. She left, and she's been gone for four years. She's been gone for four years. Yeah, it's, it's I butter. It's, it's four years that she's been gone. She left him four years ago, but their divorce was final in, um, in I think, March 12th of 2021. 21. She left him in 2020 because Sugar Mama was born in 2019, the end of 2019. So she left him a couple of months after Sugar Mama. Yeah. Yeah, Miss Ann. Hey, Miss Ann. I seen um Miss Diagnosis had uh Detroit versus um Chicago. What was she over there talking about? <laughs> I had it planned, but I couldn't um, listen to it no more because I was at the nail shop and my earbuds went dead. So I, it was just playing in my purse. Carlos, in, Carlos, in my opinion, is getting plenty of money from all. Also, probably a separate check for a sponsored and pay his actors pennies. Sandra, let's talk about that real quick. Because not even that right there. What I also think, I think that motherfucker get kickbacks from the people that's on the show that got a little money to be on that motherfucker. The ones that we be trying to get the fuck off. It's a reason why he won't let them motherfuckers go. I think he getting a little kickback from them too. Yeah, she don't be playing on no games. She don't miss diagnosis don't be playing on no games over there. Um Yeah, I think that he get kicks back from them too. I thought I think it was initially Martel getting the kickbacks. Because if you think of everybody that's been on here has been linked through him. That, you know, too much like like I don't think he got a kickback from the Fletchers or to Tiffany and Lou. But Destiny them, Stormy, the Snots, 
I think he had his hand in the pot with all of them. That uh, Carlos can claim he loved them so motherfucking much if he want to. He might do, but I think he's also paying them pennies because he's keeping the cut of the of the of the, he getting a kickbacks from them. And I and and not with the Scott so much. Um, he probably just paying them pennies. Because twenty five hundred dollars an episode max, three thousand max. Carlos, you ought to be a fucking shame of yourself. And I know Mel ain't getting paid that pennies. I know Mel not getting paid those pennies. So because y'all know what when when Martel played that video of him and um y'all excuse if I still got um uh, eyeliner stuff around my eye. Um, I tried to wipe it off. Um, Carlos, um, when Martel showed that video of him and Mel when they were arguing and stuff, and she was telling him to get that fucking money back in that account. But remember when she said, um, he was like, she was like, we were supposed to be splitting it. Get that fucking money back in that account. He said, we didn't spend, a, we didn't split the 150000 So I'm wondering, was that another check that they were supposed to be getting from on too? And was that um, thirty four thousand like their money for maybe producer credits or something? And then the hundred and fifty thousand was their pay for for you know for working or whatever. And I do remember that Destiny was saying something like they get paid so much as a couple and then but if you not a couple you only get like you get like twenty five thousand, and that was like a, a two years ago i think she said that so damn and you can tell about uh, the way the people are on the show you can tell they're not getting paid much you can tell they're not getting paid much, but the, the thing is, if you're not going to pay me, then you need to be your ass on this motherfucker. And I need to be able to be getting money from other revenues from being on the show, right? That ain't happening. Like, not only is he not fucking paying y'all shit, but y'all motherfuckers ain't making no money from the businesses y'all trying to start on the show or be on the show with y'all fucking businesses. It's up Stormy and Mel. And so many people got their hand in, in Stormy Pot. I don't know if that's really making money. It's making it, but I mean, how much is going out? How much you get to keep? Because it, it, it ain't all these damn millionaires like that. That got all these damn penny ass fucking lawsuits. And taking out all these motherfucking loans like the snots. Y'all didn't get a new damn car and shit, but you you just took out a fucking five hundred thousand dollar loan. I want to talk about some teacher ain't begging shit. Bitch, she begging the fucking bank. The fuck? I'm not getting on her dumb ass. I'm not getting on her dumb ass. I want to talk about this damn dress fiasco. Okay. Let's talk about this dress fiasco. Now, let me go to Instagram. Now, I want to go through some of these looks because it 
even though Tisha looks stuffed in this dress, well, she looks uncomfortable. I, I, I wouldn't say that she looks stuffed. She looks uncomfortable. It was just moving. It just literally just did the move for me. I love it. I'm digging the damn look. I like Tisha's dress. And to me, she got number one um, for me with the look, with the dress. She got number what? You know what? Her overall, I like her hair and I like that dress. I, I like it all. It, it looked it look good. She looked good. Like, I got to give her that. I got to give her raggedy ass that. Um, I think Miss Nail was the next. And then Mel. I didn't like the wet hair look um, with that dress. Actually, I think that Mel could have did a, a a bob this color. That that hair she had, she could have had that hair, but I think she should have just had like a um a side part bob um with it. Straight cut. <clears throat> bob with that um with her dress and stuff. And it 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 looked like it was black. So I don't know what the fuck Stormy was talking about um or her mom yeah, because of her or whatever, because of Mel or to please Mel. They don't do shit on this motherfucker to please Melody ass. Like, so all the shit that they done done on here to go against her, to make her look bad. You think they going to listen to her about a penny any ass motherfucking dress? You think that's going to be the, the thing that they going to approve? Like, Stormy, shut the fuck up. And not all like that, but... This look better than this shit any damn way. Why the fuck is this a thing? What the fuck is this? And you looking like fucking Joe Dirt with this damn hairdo. They done called this shit a damn mullet. This picture looks, it looks bad. Courtney looks uncomfortable. I like this better. This shit looks plastic. It looked like the damn which version of the reunion dress that Mel had on the top part of it. Why do you have this shit with this gray, white, and then the black over here? Like, what the fuck? That shit ugly as hell. I like it better like this. And I didn't know that she had this damn mullet on. I thought her she just had her hair cut like short like that. That shit look cute as hell without this damn piece. I didn't like this wig. I did not like this wig. Um I think she got it from I Like Hair. Because I seen that they have they have a wig like this, just like this. And I didn't like that shit. I don't like that old mullet look. And and you showing these videos, that shit don't mean shit. Why would they change your dress color? <laughs> <laughs> they 
Thank you, FBA. Uh, <laughs> what color was you supposed to wear? Somebody said black, white, and no gray slash silver. And then the person said, so why are they mad if they didn't follow directions? Right. Child, they played. You look gorgeous. You, you look good. She do look good in this. You could have kept this shit because that shit don't look. I don't like the silver one. I don't. The steel's going to step every time. Okay. Oh, they tried it. It ain't no fucking try. It succeeded. They succeeded in making this shit look fucking better. And not even that, but they also succeeded in having this shit on their fucking promo. They don't, it ain't like motherfuckers gonna go to your fucking page storm to see what the fuck your dress really was supposed to be. They just gonna look at the shit that's on the thing and think it's cute. Because in my opinion, the one that they changed it to, the edits look fucking better. Courtney looked better at everything. They played in y'all face with this. Girl, glad you did a retake, boo. I stay prepared to prepare to represent me in the best light. You've been failing at that miserably, ma'am. Did she delete her mama comments? Because wasn't her mama up in this mofo cutting the food too? But yeah, of course, um, old Betty Kruger tried to blame um, Melody. Like they did it to appease Melody. As if Why? It looked like they helped her ass out. Okay, two people got finally got their orders. I'm just playing. <laughs> the truth about winning is you have to start where you are with what you have right now. Let's move on. Let's go. And then I see that they saying that Stormy's supposed to be pregnant. Empress, was they saying that in your video or somebody video? I, I thought I'd seen them saying that Empress that she said she was supposed to be pregnant. I'm trying to see this little outfit. Stormy just don't know how to dress. Just bottom damn line. She don't know how to dress. Let me um I cannot. Let me see if Maurice posted something. Wait one second. Let me show this one. Oops. Okay. So this is the picture overall. So like I said, I think if Mel was that hair, I think she should have had that in a bob. Um, Kimmy... We just gonna leave it there. She looks like she's aged a thousand years. Um, her and Martell. Again, Tisha looks good. 
Marceau look all right, and Maurice. <laughs> Whatever bitch that Queen Sheba said that Martel was with <laughs> last weekend or the weekend before last. They couldn't wait until he came back from that little pusscation to um to take these pictures. Cause what did she have him at a damn mandatory spa or some shit? What what was going on? Because <laughs> This motherfucker looking like damn Django. Um, and <laughs> he came back from that trip. He was starting to look like the old Martell again. I shit, when Queen Sheba said he was off with some bitch, I said, I know Mel ain't took that motherfucker back because that skin was looking like it was when he was with Mel. Okay. This 12 years of a slave damn look he got. This shit is from being with Slaw. Fucking with Slaw ass too much. And Marceau cannot wait to show off his motherfucking damn surgery. I wanted him and Tisha get some together. Because both of them looking way better. Tisha looks good. She looked damn good. I love the red lip, the the black like movie star hair, the black dress. I don't give a damn if it did come from AliExpress. <laughs> it could have came from um. It could have came from um. What you call it? It could have came from Fashion Nova. Remember when um her mama was trying to talk shit about Melody and was like, um, know the difference. Know the difference. The one thing is Tisha dress came from Fashion Nova. The other one probably came from Walmart. What? I excuse. Like I cannot. I cannot. Like it was a real fucking flex. But she said it. Who knows? Who knows? What y'all got to say about this? But Mel, a smart lady, she knows that. Right. Hey, July Leo, babe. My son of July Leo. <laughs> I dreamed that Mel went back, but I hope she never do because that will be the end of her. You dreamed that? That was a nightmare. Rose, Miss Rose? You know that was a damn nightmare. <laughs> what was that talking? I couldn't hear it. Um, talking when? Um, what did I play? Stormy? Yeah. Him and um Miss Molly is an agent and damn fast acting. Uh-huh. Y'all know how you get like Tylenol PM to fast acting rapid release. That's how they damn skin going, okay? Rapidly damn um geriatrics. Yeah, Kimmy don't look good. Kimmy don't look good. Let me read these damn storylines. So it says, <clears throat> Martel faces legal, legal troubles again. 
Stormy and Courtney discover an unexpected love triangle as they reconnect with old friends. So is that new couple so that's coming on the show, are they supposed to be the ones, because I heard that they may have a connection with somebody else on the show that works out, especially since the lady on the thing works out. So I don't know if they go to the same gym, if they do the same things at the same gym. But her name starts with a T. Okay. So they already coming on with some shit, it looks like. And that's Courtney and Stormy's uh, friends. Stormy. Slaw going to get your ass. If this is true. Slaw going to. <laughs> Slaw going to get your ass Stormy. If this shit is true. Destiny returns with a splash. To confront her ex-boyfriend. Who is now married to a former producer of the show. So you mean to tell me. That Destiny wasn't on the show. We didn't give a fuck about her no more. Well, we didn't give a fuck about her when she was on the show. But she got to come back to the show because the producer, her ex-producer married her ex-boyfriend. Why do we give a fuck about Destiny, the ex-producer, or the ex-boyfriend? This shit is giving made up. Okay. Even with this bullshit with 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 Stormy, the couple with the, the with the um uh, triangle or race relationship, love triangle or lust triangle. Okay. And is is Sunny still on there? Like is is Sunny still somebody producer? Or once Destiny got fired or retired, she got fired or retired. Which one was it? Because it seems like they helping each other out again. I'm still going to hold firm that Sunny, if her and Moses is really in a relationship, I think Sunny lent her boyfriend to Destiny for a storyline. It didn't work out. They never planned for it to work out. Since she didn't make it back to the show, then now they coming up with this. Because I still don't understand how you say a motherfucker was your cousin, her cousin. Sonny, is this your cousin? Then both of y'all married. Okay, because how the fuck this motherfucker tell you they cousins? That's given they already had some shit going on. And that's some shit that Destiny just threw out there. Talking about they said they was cousins. Then why the fuck would she call you and ask you what you think about their relationship? You mean family? What the, what the fuck? <laughs> I wish one of my motherfucking friends or something would call me after they fucking with Cookie Daddy and then come talking about some. What, 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 what'd you think? What you think about me and Cookie Daddy? What I think about y'all doing what? What I think about y'all hospital bills? Because that's about to be the final damn destination, motherfucker. If you have the fucking destiny to bring your ass up in my face with that bullshit, you don't say shit else to me. I don't need no advice from you. 
If I'm fucking with your old dude, the fuck? Child, I cannot. <clears throat> this shit is ridiculous. Okay. Meanwhile, Letitia and Marceau struggle with the pros and cons of working with family on Maurice and Kimmy's new investment property. Why the fuck is Letitia and Marceau working on Kimmy and Maurice's investment property? What happened to Michael Care Bear looking ass? I mean, Sugar Bear. What happened to his grimace looking ass? Kimmy, you've been watching these videos because I done said that several fucking times. How many times? How many times y'all gonna get a project? Y'all re remodeling this, remodeling that, redoing this, redoing that. What the fuck is Maurice doing? Why he can't do the shit? Then you say he put up some pictures or some shit for your ass when y'all was going together? That what made you want to damn marry him? He will have to produce something beside that damn dick of his to me. Shit, the fuck you look like getting some damn invest, having somebody do some damn investing properties. Shit, motherfucker, not all like that, but Kimmy, you can have your damn skeleton looking ass and that motherfucker too working. Take your ass around there. You and Maurice could be doing what Mel and Martel wanted to do at the beginning of this motherfucking show. Before it changed into a damn shit show. That's what y'all could be doing. So y'all know I done said countless times. Like why they getting all this shit done. That's how you know they know that Marceau don't be on that bullshit. Because why they ain't never had Sculpt do none of their remodels. Especially since that's what they expertise is in, because what Marceau said in that damn deposition, they ain't never built shit from ground up. And the shit they did build from ground up, Zen Garden had to fucking blast that bitch back out and, and put it back to the fucking ground and level that shit off and get it built again. Because them motherfuckers thought they was fucking with some damn Legoland shit. This ain't no Legoland shit on steroids, Marceau, now. Okay? Zen Garden needed a real building put up. We cannot. Okay? So they having them do some investment property. And they got this other little thing that Kimmy and Maurice had they sorry looking asses on there, on their videos um showing some like a little restaurant thing so i guess they're gonna try to get like an event space or a little lounge or something like that okay anything for us not to be hearing y'all talk about this damn um libido shit okay I i'll take it i guess i'll if i gotta see y'all on this motherfucking show i guess i'll take it <sighs> Why do they still have them on? Here's the core six. But the being the core don't mean shit. Because if 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 Carlos was only paying Monique that came from Bravo 2500 an episode, Kimmy them probably getting five hundred dollars. <laughs> It don't matter what the fuck they have going on. Where they core motherfucking six, two, three, four, one. They don't give a fuck. You getting core motherfucking damn six hundred dollars. Okay? That's the fucking core. And did y'all see how Winter said them motherfuckers so damn sick? That's why they had a season so broke up. That's why on and shit like that don't be knowing what the fuck be going on. Because and that Carlos his slick ass at notice at the reunions, he don't really even say what season it is. 
because he do that shit so he won't have to re renegotiate the second part of the season. So if they had an explosive damn first season, you know, first part of the season, they can't go back and renegotiate like, okay, well, for the second season, I need this much because they, they ready to hear the, the results of this shit. You can't do that. So that's why he do this, the seasons like he doing it now. Because Love and Marriage Huntsville been having fucking 30 damn episodes a season. But they the, they the money makers on own. Well, Carlos is. <laughs> the only ones on that show getting paid is Carlos, Mel, and probably Martel. And, and not all like that, but Kiki must have been getting paid a nice little piece of change too because... Remember that before the, the the um Home Depot shit, um, she wasn't on the season like that. That one season when she didn't want known for like that first part of it, she was doing contract negotiations. So she was like, No, nah, if y'all about to have me get out here and exploit my motherfucking self, y'all gonna pay me for this motherfucking shit. Like, fuck that. <laughs> Child, them motherfuckers getting paid while Stormy putting on super chats. So you give a motherfucker super chats, and that's all you get paid per episode. I could not. <laughs> <laughs> then it says also, Melody takes the ladies away to a tropical isle. To work on their friendships where everyone's past comes to a head. I cannot wait to see. I know that ain't my auntie Don in this damn chat. Hey, Dawn Michelle. Hey, Auntie. <laughs> Dawn, what's going on? Y'all say hi to Dawn. She came in here at midnight, late night. I'm making my rounds today. How you doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Uh, I'm doing okay. When this muscle relaxes kick in for this damn. PMS, I'll be better. Thank you for pulling up on us, Don. Thank you, PN2 Ross. So, Don, we got some questions around here. Just, just a couple questions if you're still in the chat. Um, we watching the show. We ain't boycotting, right? Is is that that's that's the plan? Watch the show. Because I think they're trying to get us to boycott. With all this bullshit they got going on. Thank you, Sunday Shabby. Hold on one second. <laughs> okay, I'll back you <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> so, yeah, so we let's wait to get word from Don. If, if not, then um I'ma um ask her. I'ma um slide in her DMs. I'ma ask her. And I'ma get back to y'all because I, I I wanna um <laughs> y'all know she ain't gonna answer it about me leaving. <laughs> But let's let's talk about that. Let's talk about that because we got to pay attention to what Winter was saying. Y'all know Winter gonna be on Gossip Girls not next week, but the week after. Winter said that. I guess in their contracts, and we don't know if everybody got the same contract, right? But Winter said that 
um that what's her name that you can't sue the cast production and stuff like that while you are under contract okay so this could very well be Oh, Don, you still in here? Can you answer that? We're watching, right? No boycotts or what? What we doing? We watching, right? Can we get a confirmation on that? If we activating, we activating, activate or no? That's so. That's what you put in there. Don't answer that question. And the the question is activate or no? So um, the if. That is part of their contract as well. And I'm quite sure that's what it is because that's what Bravo has. Like, that's why, like, when um, Candace was trying to sue Monique and all that type of stuff, like, I knew it really wasn't going to go too much, too much of a place or whatever because they can't sue each other. But... It is exceptions to that. And that's why Candace did it. But I didn't think that it was going to go anywhere because it was like mutual combat. You know what I'm saying? So um, I, that's why I didn't think that it was going to go anywhere, especially because it was mutual combat. And I had already seen that. It was like somebody had did a book about the Bravo people or something like that. And they put like some things, like 10 things that people don't know. But, you know, this is what happens. And one of those things was that they cannot sue each other. So that was when that happened. I was like, that's some bullshit. They just doing it, whatever, whatever. So Winter said that while, you know, they're under contract. And stuff like that. They can't sue production, the cast, and I think she said they can't sue the network because the, they get paid by the production team. I still think that it could be some, winter stuff is the stuff that she said was horrible. But we know that Mel has been through worse. Kiki has been through worse. And I'm going to say that because of the vulnerable state that she was in while she was on the show advising, you know, sharing her story about addiction and things like that. And then for them to make a complete and utter mockery of it. I'm wondering... It, it it's it's it gotta be some type of loophole around the networks though. You know what I'm saying? Because they're playing it. They're they're playing it. So at one point they're gonna have to have responsibility for what they show on their fucking network, no matter who's fucking producing it or not. They have to take some responsibility for what the fuck is shown. And if it's that fucking irresponsible, like the shit that we fucking see, we done seen that shit from season one through fucking seven, whatever season it was to just past six, we done seen it from there. So that's enough. And here we are at season seven unknown, because we don't know what fucking season it is. Season X. And this bitch ass motherfucker is still on this damn screen. Talking about a motherfucking good guy. What the? Yeah, I know Rose, Miss Rose. I know she said they don't have HR. Um, I don't think it's season 5.4. I think it's, um, I think that's the date that it come out. They might have put it wrong or something like that. 
uh, right like like again it's season x at this point um because it's undamn known i think that they don't have hr per se but it's still work rules you have to fucking follow you know what I'm saying? And when anytime you employ any motherfucking body, it's still labor laws and work laws, EEOC, all of that shit still come into play. All motherfucking employers have to abide by some type of rules, whether it's independent contractors or whatever. It's something. You you can't just have free range to do what the fuck you want to do. Hey, Braylon. Hey, Braylon. Um, yeah, you have to follow some type of damn rules. You know what I'm saying? So just because they don't have HR does not give them the right to fucking abuse those fucking women, which is what we see on the on screen. Just because they're not getting their ass beat does not mean they're not in abusive situations. And that shit can come from uh, the their husbands, their ex-husbands, uh, somebody else's husband on that motherfucker, it seemed like. Because I seen a snippet of DC's reunion. And the way that Jamie was looking at Ashley, it scared me. Especially since Arena visibly seems like she's terrified of him. And the way that he looks. He looked like he'll beat a bitch ass. And the way that terrifying look that she has, it looked like he's already seen her. Doing done it. In my opinion, and she don't want to do he done done it at least one time, in my opinion. And she don't want it done again. Thank you, Braylon. Love you too. <laughs> Yes, like it's 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 something with that, and I don't know. Like sometime, what was that on? Um, what was that on? It was just on something. What a girl said that her husband. He didn't hit her, but he punched at her, and she moved or something like that, and she, and he missed, and he just laughed at her or something like that. I don't know if I was watching something on um, if if I was watching something on TV or something like that, but they said that they were um the person like the husband swung at him. Like they was about to hit him, but they had moved and, you know, he didn't hit her, but he just laughed at her because he knew he scared the fuck out of her ass. Yeah, Steph, I heard that bullshit with his damn absent ass royal fucking teeth. That motherfucking, that's what he need to worry about. Where the fuck is that top royal fucking teeth at? The fucking witness protection program. Where the fuck they hiding from? The bottom row? Ball mouth bitch. I heard that slick ass shit. Yeah, they need to get a thing. Surviving damn um kingdom reign. It's going to be a thing. Winter about to get a hold of their ass. And, and wait wait till Mel finish. Wait until Mel finish. Wait until Melody finish. It was, that's, that's, okay. Um, <clears throat> Astute. It, it wasn't that one. It wasn't the evil lives here. It was, um, let me go to Max real quick. It was, um, not who the, did I marry, but it was. One second. Let 
Wait a minute. It might have been Evil Lives here. Fatal Vows. It was off. It was Fatal Vows. Evil Lives here is good. They got some. They is it's like the um Fatal Vows and who did I marry and all that stuff. Y'all, Max is the bomb. They got all type of stuff on there. The burning bed, right? Yeah, I, I I'm, I'm comfortable with how scared um, Arena looks um, around Jamie, and he's an ex cop too. Y'all know most of them crazy as hell. Thank you, Miss Sandra. It's a lady I work with named that. Yeah, it's it's scary. And the way that he was looking at um Ashley, it was scary too. And then they played the clip with um DJ Quick and Clifton was going back and forth. And DJ Quick hopped up. And Carlos hopped up just as quick as he did to, to tell you know try to get him to sit down was you ain't got to do too much forcing because you I, I don't know quick might whip clip the ass but it's gonna be a challenge you know what I'm saying but what surprised me is that they showed it it was a whole group of motherfucking damn security and all that shit came out for two men. But Winter ain't get shit. When she said that man was on the... Well, that punk was on the stage going at her like that. And then he want to try to deny it. As if the shit wasn't filmed. And when I tell you they done fucked up. This is why I said winter remind me of Mel. And not so much maybe like their actions and stuff like that. But they they still have some of the same um, you know, character characteristic traits too. But both of them have that Southern Belle twang to them. That innocent church lady that innocent delicate roles that you want to protect and if they cry you want to protect them and you want the motherfucker ass that 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 made them cry they look innocent and not saying that they not but like i'm just going off like what a person would see in court. And black men already look bad enough. But y'all got these black men going aggressively at these fucking women that look like delicate fucking flowers. Winter on that live the other day on her, on her YouTube channel. And if y'all haven't subscribed, go over there and subscribe to her YouTube channel. It's called Winter Wonderland or something like that. Wonder Woman or something like that. Womanland or Wonder Woman. Something like that. I'll get the thing. But on that live, all Winter needed was a white button-up shirt and a little Carnegie little sweater or something. A long pleated skirt. Take your ass in that court. No makeup. The hair like she had the other day. Winter looked like a 14 year old fucking girl. So imagine. Her. Going into that fucking courtroom. And they could subpoena that footage from 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 on from from Kingdom Rain. Imagine her going in that courtroom and 
rehashing that story where a, a male is being aggressive with her, yelling at her, calling her out of her name. I think it was two of them. And then, right, Sunday, um, Chevy, a uh, Easter outfit. I get the little socks with the ruffles on them and every motherfucking thing. Do you hear me? I would come in that motherfucker looking like Mary Poppins' granddaughter. Imagine that person in a courtroom on the stand reliving that, rehashing that. Because at the Queen Sheba interview was just a little snippy. And imagine a male producer in the background saying, get her, get her, get her. The case is open and closed, in my opinion. When I tell you, I will have those ruffle socks. When I came in that motherfucker, they will be asking for one, where, how did she sign the contract and she's not 18 years old? Where's her parents? Okay? That's how fresh face I would be. The only thing I'll have on is some mascara from the damn beauty supply so that when I cry, that should have rolled down my face. All you will see is black tears coming down my damn face. The story alone would take three days for me to get out. The judge would have to keep adjourning the shit. Okay? That's just what 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 my play would be. Okay? Y'all don't want to fuck with them too. Winter announced that she's leaving that fucking show. Carlos dumbass. Oh, I haven't received any two weeks notice. Or so, yeah, she's still implied and I'm implied when you get fired or you when you resign, you give your employer two weeks notice and I haven't received anything. So as far as you know, you saying she's still good on the books. Okay, she's still good, right? So you can't use that against her in court. Oh, we just didn't ask her back, so she mad. Okay. So you can't use that. Because you said she was, you know, still employed, about to be, you know, whatever, whatever. Even though they don't know to be determined when the fuck they gonna start filming or any damn thing. And she says she's not going to that bullshit ass podcast either so he can kiss her where the fucking sun don't shine. She said she's not the only one. <clears throat> she know how to whip a motherfucker back. Quick as fuck. And still look like an innocent private school girl. Yeah, let me get her um, link and put it in the chat because she, um, She's airing that motherfucker out, and I ain't mad at her. I'm not mad at her. I want to see the um the video she um do 
about like her reaction to the to the interview though to the queen she was interviewed hey kanisha 87 you new here welcome yeah i enjoyed that interview too i told y'all queen she would sound like a mama bear and then <clears throat> She also sounds like, like, you know how, like, you tell your mama somebody fucking with you? And she'd be like, say what? Well, they home night right now? Oh, get your shit on. Say less. Like, that's that's what it is like. Like, she'll come up to the school and get in the principal ass for your ass. You know what I'm saying? So... I like her style. I like her style. Thank you, uh, Miss Beverly Childs. Yeah, Winter got her shit in in order. Her ducks are in a row. Her ducks are in a fucking row. That's why I feel like Carlos and them had Martel put that shit out. Like Melody was being abusive too. So that they could try to act like, you know, she's abusive as well. To put her and him in the same um, category. Oh, thank you, Ro uh, Rowena. Rowena. That's it. Rowena. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, I and and that's the thing too. Like, I don't care how many people don't like her. Um, that motherfucker, she <laughs> she can play the perfect victim in court. And I'm not saying at all that it's an act or anything. I'm just saying how it looks. They're fucked. They're fucked. And she has that sweet voice. Like I said, her and Melody in court. Carlos think her crying at that podcast was something. Because I know he wanted to strangle the fuck out of her. I think he was mad as fuck that she cried at that podcast. Because he thinks she's supposed to be a fucking robot, a robot, a strong black woman. And you know what? Miss Brand New 715, she always say, be leery of motherfucking dudes that tell you you are a strong black woman. Because they about to put your ass to the fucking test. They about to see how fucking strong you is. They about to test that shit out. Mm-hmm. I'm strong as a, I'm going to cuss your ass the fuck out. Like, I'm, I, I, I'm cussing you out. Thank you, Miss QT Pie. Thank you, Frankie Gillins. You are so beautiful. We all love you. You are pretty and smart. Thank you. I do the best I can, y'all. I do the best I can. Yeah, so... Winter was spilling it. And then they just basically dismissed her ass. Just dismissed her on off the stage and she went on crying in, into, into the night. And that's something too that she don't understand. Like she's, I, I'm not used to men doing that to me. I'm not either. Like, I had seven uncles. They didn't do all of that stuff. Right here sleep. Cookie right here sleep. Y'all know it's past her bedtime. She be in the cage at 10 o'clock. <laughs> I know Simply ain't in the chat. Hey, Simply. <laughs> Don't be coming here with that dry ass hey Tay. <laughs> Not Carlos is a strong black woman. Carlos. <laughs> Sorry. 
<laughs> I am so sick of them. And why would Wanda go to the um? Why would she go to the DC podcast? And why you didn't go to the one in Huntsville? Why she act like she was stunting on the millimeter so damn bad? You, she was brave enough to show up. I say that the motherfucking snots. Them motherfuckers was in the witness protection program that weekend, and and they done sent her out for for to the war. Put her in the line of duty. <laughs> Thank you, little lucky. <laughs> No, Winter is not an attorney, but she got some, okay? <laughs> she got <laughs> she got some damn attorneys, okay? And, and apparently she got some good ones on deck. Thank you, Duwana, for the ten dollar cash out. We got money. I got a money song too, but I gotta thank um Juliana too for the twenty dollar cash out the other day uh, when we was live at Patreon. I didn't know if she was in Patreon or, or, or she was catching the playback of my um of the video that we had went live. Y'all, we might go to Patreon tomorrow again. We had a good time at Patreon the other night. I ain't cut up too bad, but it, it was enough. It was enough, okay? Let me play the little money song. Oh, 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 oh. We said. Check. Money. All I really want to see is the. Money. I don't really need to be any the. Money. All a bad bitch need is the. We love it, okay? Parrot. Parrot poo. Parrot. So, yeah, I don't know. Winter is sick of Carlos, but she was saying that she wasn't like, you know, trying to, you know, whatever with him, but she said that she was still under contract. So she couldn't say too much, but also another way that how Stormy then was trying to blame Melody, I guess, for that dress shit again, as if she do the fucking edits, um, the way they be having her looking most of the time is that her ass, um, Somebody had put in the comments and said, um, oh, pr production tried you or something like that. And she was like, no, nah, I love production. Oh, so you love Melody, too, because she's part of production, but she ain't that part that, that would edit your motherfucking dress. And if she was, you should be thanking her ass. Because that other silver bullshit, it looked like the fucking, um, like somebody stole it off of the tin can man and put the shit on, um, like on a damn tin can man. Like that shit looked like a costume, a, a Halloween costume. That dress was ugly as fuck with that silver shit on there. And, you, and 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 not all like that, but you wasn't going to stand out only to stand out for us to laugh and talk shit about that ugly shit. Like, you don't have the, what they call it, je ne sais quoi. You don't got it, Stormy. You don't got it. Thank you, Kathy Crew, for the $10 cash up. Let me play the song. <laughs> Let me quit bringing up this food before uh, I have to damn slap the taste out of her damn mouth. Um, did y'all see Show Enough at that prom send off and calling it a perm? When I tell y'all. <laughs> It has to be a crime, okay? It has to be a crime to be that motherfucking stupid. 
She literally caught somebody in the chat called it a a, a, a a perm. They was like, "Oh, Wanda, you over there partying? What party you at? Whatever, whatever." So she was like, <laughs> "So the person in the chat was like, she not partying. Um, she had a perm. LOL." So I'm like, "What the fuck?" And so here go Wanda reading it. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. We gonna be partying at my sister gonna have her birthday party, but no, we over here at the perm. I... And then somebody in the chat said, Wanda, turn turn the camera around so we can see what role kill you got on. When she turned that damn camera around and I seen that damn <laughs> city squirrel she had around her motherfucking damn neck. I said, I know you fucking lie. <laughs> I, I was thinking about... <laughs> One time my uncle go say to his friend, he go um come he came in the house and he had y'all know them coats that had a little fur around the hood. <laughs> That's what Wanda had on yesterday. <laughs> and then my uncle go talk about so <laughs> how you get that squirrel to sit, sit so still around your neck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when I tell y'all, my uncles, my aunties too, it's only one auntie and one uncle that's not funny. Like they just like mean. But the rest of them funny as shit like our whole family is ignorant okay <laughs> y'all let me get my sorry tail out of here <laughs> let me get out of here y'all i'ma leave y'all let me get y'all a good night y'all go ahead get ready for y'all church tomorrow in the morning um, I'm about to crawl up in this bed. My um, hey T for TV. <laughs> y'all make sure y'all subscribe to all the content creators in here. T for TV. I don't know if you got any stripes, but make sure you um check out um Empress radio video that she did. Braylon, um, Empress was in here. Drop the mic. Brown skin probably sleep with my baby. Um, so y'all make sure y'all, um, show all the content creators some love. Um, and, and again, we don't all have to get along or anything, but people that don't fuck with each other or something like that, they just don't fuck with each other. It's just a select few that's on this motherfucker fucking with people's channels because they miserable and broke as fuck, in my opinion think the motherfuckers broke too okay when them pockets get short motherfuckers get to acting a damn fool acting ignorant because you but i think the one person mainly is just misery okay it's misery so just be careful um <clears throat> td jakes i know you fucking lying Wait a minute. T for TV, before I be, before I let you go, stay right there. Let me read, let me read this comment, okay? So you can see it might not have been TD Jakes. It might have been somebody making a fake account. Let me read, let me read you this this thing. This was in Shown Up's um comment section the other night. Um, let me read this before I go. So because it sounded like this person uh and they're a content creator. Um, which like literally make up stories to report, okay? And they said, um,
they said this in show enough chat the other night. Carlos King never struck channels. How the fuck would you know? How the fuck would you know what he never did? Okay. Carlos King never struck channels. It was some of the slow meters. His mammy. I looked up how to file a how to file a YouTube copyright, and anybody can create a fake account and use Carlos King similar information. Now, why the fuck would anybody? Why would you look up that? And when you looked up how to file a, a, a copyright strike, I'm quite sure it didn't tell you how to make a fake account and do that shit to somebody fucking page. So you made your own shit up when you looked it up, motherfucker. And why would any of regular sur- uh, subbies be looking that kind of shit up? Why would you be looking that up? And how would you know that it wasn't fucking Carlos if your motherfucking ass wasn't the one that indeed had made the fucking fake ass account and fucking struck people fucking channel saying it was Carlos fucking King. So they can come out and be like Carlos King struck their fucking channels and then because <clears throat> they showed the proof and it said fucking Carlos's name in the attempt to try to get somebody fucking information. They gonna pull up on the wrong motherfucker. Let me, I'm saying too much. I'm 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 getting it. No, Carlos, he 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 lied and said he didn't. Then he uh heavenly bust the shit out like I'm I'm gonna do like you did and strike that ass. And he oh my god, like I'm like if y'all don't say they playing games, they playing games is what I'm saying. And again, Braylon, y'all, be careful. Make sure you fight your strikes back or whatever the case may be. Um, just, you know, make sure that you 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 do your shit because she was posting about um she was posting about and, and you know you what you post about right yo the the, the snots and they and they million dollar loans and shit like that and they um all the debt that they in okay non absent as them um business contracts you know lies about the divorce settlements and all that type of bullshit your shit come from the court they don't like that type of shit so th- yeah she says, I think it it was it's false too, cause I'm like, I only have 500 views on the short and the booty man came from me. <laughs> it was the wrong booty man. I ain't gonna... <laughs> Y'all got me on here at midnight cutting up. Ciao. El Wente, so I got you. I cover so many other topics for real, for real. But understood, I stay to myself and go to where people embrace me. Exactly. And even if you go somewhere where somebody don't embrace you, that still don't give them the right to fuck with your damn channel. And you know what? You a man, Braylon, so you ain't gonna you ain't gonna have them problems from from that punk because they only fuck with um, black women, black heterosexual women. Okay, let's not leave that part out. They only um, cyber bully and harass um, African American heterosexual women. Okay, so yeah. Okay, so on that note, I'm gonna head out of here. <clears throat> I made two hair videos today, so if you guys um get a chance i'm going to drop them on my other um youtube channel wente talk Two, okay and i'll drop them on there tomorrow i don't know if i'm gonna do both of them in the same day i might do one a day because i still have two more wigs to review and then i also got two wigs on the damn way at the same damn time okay so yes i got the girl got four wigs currently that um needed to break out the package so i did two today this one and um this one right here 
It was a little cute one. It was cute. Child, I put that wig on. I was going out doing my little errands, getting my nails and stuff done. And um, I put on a little video um, leaving out the market and the guy on my ass. Okay. Child, I seen that Tesla. I said, okay, none of my little friends got no Tesla. How you doing? He like you in a hurry. Yes, I am. What's up? Let me stop being mean. But anyway, that's all I got for y'all. Good night. Please like the video. Subscribe to ch um subscribe to not the subscribe. <laughs> Don't strike the channel. <laughs> and until next time, y'all. Bye. <laughs> Oh, and thank everybody for the um super chats. I mean, the cash apps. Here we go. Money. All I really want to see is money. I don't really need to be any money.